Glory be to God. Verse 13, hallelujah, while you're turning, because people look like they're all right, don't mean they're all right. That's Man right. looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Check on your neighbor sometimes, check on your family member sometimes. Because they say they're doing fine, don't mean they're doing fine. Sit and have a, a cup of coffee and a donut with them. Make sure all is well. Tell, tell somebody, make sure all is well. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 and it reads are you there yes. no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind let's stop for a moment it says no temptation has overtaken you overtaken as into uh, cause you to fall no temptation has possessed you is anybody with me? Amen. Your temptation has caused you to go back on God. That is, except what is common to man. Common to man and what you're facing is not strange or unusual. Every test that you've experienced, Christ experienced it also. Amen. Tell somebody Christ went through it too. Christ, Christ went, went through, through it too. My topic on today is I'm bigger than my issue. That's I'm bigger than my issue. Come on, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I'm bigger than my issue. I'm bigger than my Come issue. Come on, there's a song in the secular world that says I've got issues and you've got it too, but I'm bigger than my issue. Somebody ought to bless the Lord right there. That you're bigger than what you're going through. You're bigger than what you're facing. You're bigger than what stands before you. I'm bigger than my issue. So every test that you've experienced, every temptation that you've inquired, Christ inquired it also. And Ecclesiastics 1 and 9 reminds us that there is nothing new under the sun. Yeah. No new sin has been created since the resurrection of Christ. Everything that you've been tempted with, somebody has been tempted with it before you. But it's all about not succumbing to the temptation. Being tempted is not a sin. When you fall into temptation, that's when you mess up. Anybody with me? Amen. Glory be to God. Tell your neighbor, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. You've got to be bigger than that. Hallelujah. It says further, if God is faithful, how many know he's faithful? And he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, somebody say, but. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Anybody thank God for the way out? Hallelujah. Anybody praise God for giving you an option? That's what a way out means, destiny. It means choices. It means that he'll give you another chance. It means that he'll show you another door that you can walk through. But many times, instead of us fighting, we just sit there and walk through the door that's being presented to us. But the Father wants to remind us today that because it's set before you doesn't mean you have to walk through it. I'm giving you another way out. Somebody ought to praise him right there. Thank you, Lord. Deuteronomy 30 and 19 says, see, I set before you this day an open door. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I set before you life and death. I set before you blessings and cursings. Now choose life so that your children may live and that you may love God and that you might listen to his voice and hold on to him. Amen. Choosing not to sin is choosing life. Amen. That's right. That's right. I said choosing not to sin Amen. is choosing life. Right. Because Romans 6.23 tells me that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. You're recompensed when you live right. He'll send blessings your way when you live right. Come on, he'll look out for you when you live right. Amen. But when you sin on purpose, come on. When you sin and you know that you're sinning, there's a wage that you have to pay. That's right. That wage is death. He said we have to choose life. We even have to choose our thoughts. Come on. We have to choose what we ponder on. We have to choose what we daydream about. I curse the daydreaming spirit in the name of Jesus. Some of you can't even do a 
what you're supposed to do in school because you're sitting there daydreaming. Yeah. Daydreaming about foolishness. Thinking about foolishness. Yeah. Who is it that I'm talking to in here? You can't get your work done at work because you daydreaming. But I curse the daydreaming spirit yeah. that don't have nothing to do with the dream that God's given you. Amen. That's right. We have to choose what we imagine if it's not of God. We have to quickly dispose of it in our minds and then refill our minds with what make with what will make us happy and at peace. Because trust me, my God, women and men, boys and girls, the enemy wants nothing more than yeah. to see you fail. Yeah. The enemy wants nothing more than to see you quit. The enemy wants nothing more than to see you throw in the towel. Yes. Tell you, he don't want you to finish college Y'all don't hear me yes. He don't want you to make more money Julian. Glory be to God Anita, He don't want the dream to be fulfilled Minister Anita Shonda, He don't want it to come to pass yes. He wants nothing more than to see you fail yes. He wants nothing more Than to say you give up On your Jeremiah 29 and 11 But I am bigger than My issue yes. He wants to see you Balled up in a corner somewhere, crying like you have no help. Glory be to God. Anybody ever been there feeling like you had no help, like you had nobody to talk to? I know you told me to call you if I ever needed you, but in that moment, I really didn't want to call you. I know you told me I could pray, but in that moment, if we'll be honest, we don't want to pray. I don't want to have no scripture right now. Don't come preaching to me right now. Let me have my pity party. But you better realize, in the midst of it all, you've got help. Psalms 121 tells me, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. All of my help, it comes from the Lord. The Lord will make heaven and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, he won't slumber nor will he sleep. He'll preserve your soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He'll preserve your soul. Thank you, Lord. He'll preserve your soul. Even forevermore, even when you feel like giving up, he said, I'll preserve you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you in the potter's clay. I might keep you going in circles while I'm making you, but I won't let you die in this. Come on, tell somebody I'm bigger than my issue. He won't let you die where you are. Glory be to God. He will help you. Glory be to God. Call on the Lord, and he will help you. Thank you, Lord. He will help you. Glory be to God. John 4 and 4 confirms that because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Right then, in the midst of being in your corner, tears running down your face, not knowing where your help comes from. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You've got to stand up and say, I know where my help is. Glory be to God. I'm almost finished. Y'all can sit on me if you want to. I know where my help is. I know where my help is coming from. Glory be to God. Because sometimes, no matter how much church people you got around you, no matter how anointed they are, no matter how much they're praying for you, sometimes it still feels like anybody with me. Sometimes it still feels like ain't nobody praying. Sometimes it still feels like ain't nobody in your corner. Sometimes it still feels like, hallelujah, you don't have no friends. Still feels like family don't want to be family, but God is. God is my help. He is my very present help in the time of trouble. Anybody thank God in your help today? When mother walks out on you, daddy turns his back on you. Husband not acting right. Wife got an attitude. Somebody said my help. I'm bigger. I'm bigger than my issue. Sometimes my issue seems like it wants to consume me. Sometimes my issue, am I by myself? Sometimes my issue talks to me. Sometimes my issue tells me, girl, you ain't gonna ever get out of this. Girl, you ain't gonna ever overcome that. Glory be to God. But thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. Jesus, 
situation. I'm big. Tell somebody I'm big. Of the Lord, yeah, He strengthens me in my weakest state. Cause when I'm weak, that's when I'm made strong. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. Yes, it is. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, I can't do. Glory be to God, because He gives me strength. There's no evil I can't overcome. Be there 